Hey there, welcome to Durham County Library's Totally Teen Time. Uh, I'm local artist Christine Holton. Uh, I have a studio here in Durham and I'm excited to share with you a really fun, basic art activity um, that can be, that can have a variety of uses. So we're gonna do paper marbling, which is creating a marbled effect on paper. And uh, we're gonna use completely, you know, just objects, things you can find around the house, materials. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce our materials to start. First, we're gonna want some different pieces of paper. Uh, I like to use white paper just because the different colors can show up. Um, then uh, we, we can use scrap paper. I've got pieces of old atlases. We have a lot of, um, I have a lot of people bring me just discarded materials they no longer use, old atlases, really old maps, books that don't have covers that they found, you know, that were discarded. So I have a couple of thing, pieces of uh, paper from those materials. And then we're going to have some paint called liquid watercolor. And um, you can find this at any art supply store um, or you can order it. A little bit goes a long way. It'll last forever, but it's just already ready to be used. You don't need to add water or you can if you want to make it lighter. If you don't want to get watercolor, uh, liquid watercolor or watercolor magic, you, and you can get washable versions of this, by the way. You can use food coloring at home and uh, just add a touch of water to it. So food coloring is perfectly good for this. You want shaving cream, that's a key component. You want a little palette or something that you can put your colors in. You don't need to get one of these, but they're very easy to find. Um, or just a little tray. Um, and I've got a dropper, but you don't need to use a dropper if you have a little brush. Um, and then, you want a hard surface with which to put the, or on which to put the shaving cream. Um, I just have a piece of cardboard here. You can use a tray of some kind. Uh, yeah, any kind of surface that's not really absorbent. And you want a rag, something to kind of clean up your mess with or just help keep things from getting too incredibly messy. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna coat our surface with shaving cream. And I'm just gonna spray it on the surface here and then I'm going to take sort of a spoon and just kind of spread it around a little. If you don't want to be distracted by the smell, don't get aloe scented. It's really strong. <laughs> All right, and we've got, I'm just spreading it around a little. Then what I'm going to do is take my dropper and I'm going to pull a few colors and to show you, I'm going to just add a couple of colors here and there, a couple drops rather, here and there. And clean that out. A little bit of yellow here. Clean that out. You can keep a little glass of water too around to clean the dropper out if you want, or you can just kind of keep squeezing and releasing, and the paint will come out of there. So, got a couple of colors here. I just chose the primaries because we, you know, we can mix them. And I'm just going to slightly mix things together here. I'm not going to swirl it all up and make mud. You don't want all the colors to mix. Take a rag, wipe off your spoon. Look, it's got a nice little orangey swirl there. If you don't over mix, you can get some really pretty effects. So that's kind of nice. And you can even make patterns too. So I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to lay it flat. And I'm just going to pat it. And as you lay it flat, you don't want to move it around, right? Because, I mean, you can actually create the pattern that's going to be printed on the surface of your board here. And you don't need to mix it anymore. All right, so I have peeled it off, and now I'm going to scrape it off with my spoon. You can have a spatula if you want. I like to keep my materials to a minimum if possible. I just kind of like keeping it simple. I'm wiping it off, and so it may or may not have looked cool to you when I first pulled the print off, but now 
Check that out. It's pretty cool. So you can use intention with this if you want and create, maybe even paint a picture or swirl the material around so that it looks like something specific or make shapes like hearts in it or your name. But if you do that, you want it backwards, right? Or you could do a landscape. So it's really pretty. And you can do this on so many other papers. Just to reiterate, here's one I did on sheet music. And here's some others. So it's kind of cool over top of the text. And then we've got, here's one with more of a limited color palette. And here's another one that I really like. It looks almost like a map from, like an aerial view of a map of land and water. Well, there you have it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this activity and uh, try it at home. It's super fun. Thanks.